How are you? I'm Alan Beach and I'm the shop coach. And today I'm here to talk to you about hiring the very, very best service advisor for the front counter of your business. A service advisor makes such a difference to your business. He's the spark plug that generates the business generates the relationships with clients. So when you're at this point, be slow to hire and quick to fire. I started my career with a large corporation in auto service and we had to hire so many people and it seemed like we used the mirror test. <sighs> if they were able to fog the mirror, then they were the right candidate to hire. This causes so much problems in the long run because we had to fire so many people because we didn't take the time to select the right person. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the tips to hiring the right person. Stay tuned at the end of the video because we're gonna talk about the discussion between hiring an inexperienced first person versus an experienced person to run your front counter. So I've got three tips in hiring the right service advisor. Number one, when you meet them, how do they make you feel? Take time to check yourself out and understand how this person has made you feel. Do they smile when they are in your presence? How do your staff feel about meeting this person? Realize this position of being a service advisor is a relational position and they need to be able to connect with people. So how did they make you feel is number one. Number two, contact their previous employers. Ask the pertinent question. If you had the opportunity, would you rehire this person? Because remember, the biggest predictor of future success is their past success. Ask their previous employers, do they have a proven track record in sales? Are they a dependable person? Do they change jobs every year or every two years? Because this will be person that they've been in the past will be the person that shows up for you. The third thing I want to talk about is testing. And you may not understand what this is all about, but companies create a profile on what the very best service advisors look like. And then they test against that. And they give you an indication of whether the person that's sitting in front of you is the right candidate. Remember, people are like icebergs where there may be an amount showing on the top, but the vast majority of the person is below the waterline that you don't see when you interview. So when you test, it gives you a glimpse into that person. The other thing that profile testing will do is give you questions when you're in the interview to uncover the weaknesses, to better understand the challenges that you have. If you need help with profile testing, leave me a comment below it and I'll reply and I'll help you out with that. The final area I wanna talk about is having a scorecard when you're doing the interview to score the person. And that way you can keep track of all the different people you're interviewing and be objective in your score of that person to get the very, very best candidate. As I promised, I wanna talk about the difference between hiring a person with experience versus a person with non-experience. When you hire a person with experience, you'll typically pay considerably more for that person and they will also come with bad habits. Versus somebody that doesn't have experience, but let's say they have experience in the service industry. Say they come from hospitality and they have a great personality and they're great rapport with clients. I also, think that it's a great idea to hire somebody whose compensation has been tied to tips because they've learned the tricks in pleasing customers and building that relationship, which is so good. Somebody from the service or hospitality industry will make such an impact on your front counter. And if they don't come with experience in your business, you'll be able to get them at a significantly lower rate. Thank you for joining me in this video about how to hire the very best service advisor. If you've liked the content, please click the subscribe button below and join me for future videos. I hope you have a great day.